Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video we're going to take a look at a cool new feature that's available in Microsoft Office 365 which is the ability to insert data from a picture. Now this is essentially where some of the new AI features in Excel basically will analyze a picture for you and convert it into a data set. So to do this what we need to do is we need to come over to our data tab. And here over in the get and transform data box we've got this from picture and if you click down you'll see that you can select either picture from file or this grayed out one currently which is picture from clipboard so if you have an image file you can select this and then pick your picture we're going to use one from the clipboard so i've just got a sample uh, picture here that's just a screenshot from a random report that i found online and what we're going to do is we're going to copy that onto the clipboard so this is just using uh, Windows built-in snipping tool. And then I'm going to come back and go from picture and picture from clipboard. And what you'll get is this little box that comes up on the side, which basically pulls your data from the picture and starts converting it into a table for you. Now it's obviously automatically analyzing your data and it has picked up that there's potentially a few errors in here, which are these boxes in red. Now to run through those in sequence, you can click on this review box and it will show you the cell that data is pulling from and you can update it if it's not correct. So for example, in this instance, it's missed the one. We hit accept. That's correct. Thinks it might not be because it's obviously not spelling an actual word. Same with this one. And in this instance, we're missing the one. Now, what you should do is actually go through your data set and actually check that all the data is coming in OK. So each of these boxes you pick, it will go to the data. You can also not select anything and zoom out and do a manual review of the data. You'll also see here that some of the cells, because there aren't two lines here, have appeared in two cells. You can fix it in here, or you can just fix it once you've inserted the data into your workbook, which we're going to do now. So if I click on Insert Data, what that's done is it's converted it all into a table, and I can come and fix up any of the uh, final bits and pieces that I want. I would suggest that if you do use this option, you would want to check it quite carefully against your original data set to ensure that everything has pulled through correctly. But as you can see, that's extremely quick and easy, and it has pulled through lots of data that might have taken a lot longer to type in manually. So this could be quite useful if you, say, have a PDF with some invoice data on it and you actually want it in an Excel spreadsheet. And then once you've got it in, you can obviously format it in whatever way you want. So for example, if I hit Control and T, which is the shortcut to create a table, and click OK, that's immediately formatted as a table. And you can see some of the formatting here wasn't right because it's stuck in an extra space. That's pretty quick and easy to fix. And you'll need to check some of the things like the headings here. So this work-related travel hasn't obviously pulled through correctly because it's put in an extra I. But updating this is so much quicker than having to type it from scratch. So that's just a really quick introduction to the new Get Data from Picture. I do hope that you found the video useful. I'd love to know what you might like to see in a future video. And I'll see you again on the next one.